is up everybody robert back to basics outdoors so if you watched the last video i was out on monona bay doing some bluegill fishing and caught some fish not a lot or i mean did catch a lot but not a lot of big fish like i was after but regardless it was still fun just to be out there so i went home got bored so i'm back dns bait tackle and fly shop over on northport so i'm gonna go inside see pat and whoever else is in here sit and talk about fishing and load up on some bait for tonight so either gonna head out on monona to try that this year or i'm gonna head up to mendota and fish that again but just gonna be fishing weed lines and mud flats so yeah i'm gonna run in here get my bait and get gone so stay tuned we'll catch you out on the ice what is up everybody robert back to basics outdoors i'm out here walleye fishing but figured i'd throw some danglers out because i had some rosy reds and literally i can't get set up <laughs> so this is what keeps happening I keep ca catching perch while i was running for the camera the other dangler went down too so yeah i'm sure that one doesn't have a minnow on it either but now i'm ready i'm gonna get the camera on get back down there and catch some more perch before the walleye come in so stay tuned hopefully i catch another one now that i got the camera Little shit. Damn it. Oh, these danglers keep going off too fast. little guy we can put him back because the air bladders didn't blow out fish on fish off damn it Got another fish finally. Nice perch. That's what we're after. Hopefully, we get a few more perch like this before the walleyes come in. So, the day. fish to eat a rosy red so granny got the jig and ramp and we got us a little walleye yeah buddy we'll take it what is up everybody robert back to basics outdoors it is walleye wednesday and it might be the last walleye wednesday of this ice season 41 degrees out and next week it's supposed to be in the 50s as you can see the ice is starting to look really sketchy I mean still sitting on seven eight inches of ice but it is extremely soft so, yeah, out here tonight the goal is as you guys know one walleye That's all I want. One walleye. so also got mark crow back out here with me again too so both gonna be jigging and jigging ramp sitting in about 15 18 feet of water and we're running tip ups in shallower from the mud up to weeds so i don't know what's gonna happen but it's walleye wednesday and i gotta be out here so stay tuned we'll see what happens
first tip up of the night. Been watching it sit and spin, so we're gonna go investigate. guys I just wanted to take a minute and show you what I do for walleye fishing tip ups so on a smaller little treble hook and then personally I like to add a little bead above it and then probably 18 to a two foot leader swivel split shot and then once I find my depth after using the marker I personally like to use a dress button on this braid line so literally, I can change the depth just by moving that button back and forth. So once it's on the line, put that in the bottom of the tip up and I'm good to go. So that's what I do for tip up fishing. I know everybody's got different ways, but that's what I do and that's what works for me. So, so there's my button, throw that on the old tip up set it down for a minute and then bring out the lighthouse tip ups i don't know if you guys have seen any of my videos but i absolutely love these lights they let you know when a fish is on and running because of these two lights will sit and spin so yeah those go right up on top set them right up on top of your handle and tighten them down. So there you go. Now you got lights. And then to shut it off, you just put this magnet on top. Now you're good to go. Now just wait for the Mr. Walleye Gills to come eat them. What's up everybody? Robert and Keaton. Back to basics outdoors. Today, you know where we're at? No. We're on Monona Bay. We're out here to catch a pile of gills with some buddies so everybody can get fish in their freezer. So this is gonna be Keaton fishing all day. GoPro on him, make him a little superstar stud and see how he does. So stay tuned, we'll see how he does. All right, there's little containers in there with bait. Okay. If you wanna grab one of those.
used to be. Yeah, buddy. Well, it's coming up hot. It's just because there's uh, 10,000 more people out there than there have been in years past. Get it up. Say <laughs> something. Got a bluegill on the tweener rod. From it's not the tweener rod. It's not. It's the spring rod. On the spring rod. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a very good sponsor. No. <laughs> you need to work on your sponsorship talk. <laughs> um, are you going to talk? <laughs> I thought I was going to see what they're doing. That's pretty cool. It That's feels like rad. it. Yeah. GoPro's hooked up already. We just kept it on. I'm just trying to get the hook out. How's it going out there, Rob? We got the fish for you, and he just got a shot. Yeah. What do you got? We have to catch him. Jeez. One drag. Are we keeping this one? Woo, 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 woo. Look out. Look out, fellas. Did he hook his beer can on the bottom of the lake? Right. Are we keeping Better this start one? making ice to hold all these fish. You might want to get off soon, then. Are we keeping this one? 